The San Andreas flag bears a striking resemblance to the one in California. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hi, this is Saucer Cats. And today we're going to attempt to answer the question, why extradition? Extradition is the mission... Excuse me, sorry, I should really talk to you like this. Uh, extradition is the contact mission where you invade or shoot down a Titan leaving Fort San Kudo base. Then recover a briefcase from the district attorney who's leaving in a limo. And then returning that briefcase to Madrazo's house. That's essentially the three parts of this mission. Now, this mission has actually changed since the hangar update. How has it changed? Well, there's no longer an access problem to uh, the, the base itself. You can drive right up and through the... They'll actually open the, uh, the gate entrance. If you wait for them, they'll uh, bring up the gate and you can drive right in. Uh, you will get stars uh, at that point. We we can both watch together and see how many stars they actually get. But uh, you do get stars, probably because of the uh, circumstances involving the Titan being in a secured place and uh, needing protection. And so <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to get on our oppressor. I, I, I firmly believe it's the essential uh, vehicle for this mission. It's not absolutely required, obviously, but uh, it's definitely the vehicle of choice. And uh, only if it has missiles, of course. And we're going to fly it in on the left side of the map. Uh, there's a little landing strip slash uh, road there, and we're going to just drive in on it. Uh, and we want to stay uh, going as quick quickly as possible because the uh, soldiers there have uh, undergone uh, advanced training and are very accurate with their rifles, and they will shoot you down. And if you die, the mission's over especially when doing this solo as we are. All right, and uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is um, I, pre, uh, I pre executed the time, um, the 16 minute time timer so that we don't have to wait around to get the maximum payout at the end. Uh, I pre waited and then started the video later. So just FYI. All right, we're going to get on our oppressor here, and we're just going to drive up to the soldiers at the gate and at Fort Zane Kudo and see what happens, and then we're going to try to uh, complete this mission as quickly as possible. Hopefully I don't mess it up. It got right in, as you can see. Okay. Watch for stars. I see two stars, folks. That seemed much more manageable. As you can see, our target is up ahead. As you can see, that uh, guy dropped like immediately when the uh, when the missile hit it. It's like instant death, and then drop the briefcase. So just be aware of that. The Limo is going to shoot off in the distance, it's going to explode, it's going to attract your attention, but just pay no mind to that. I mean, obviously if you're coming in late, you're going to want to use that as a reference point, but just know that the briefcase dropped a, a little bit back from it, and just move up to that point. Okay, this part, like, we're, we're actually not worried at this point, especially on the oppressor. 
They give us lots of hills back here that uh, make it extremely e easy, even with three stars, to evade the police and the helicopters. Whatever helicopters are going to come after you, and that's going to go away, as you can see. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, the uh, 16 minutes is going to offer you the maximum payout, which in this case is uh, one of the highest just for uh, mission completion. I don't know if it is the highest. I don't think it is the highest, but it's higher than Los Santos Connection. Uh, the reason that Los Santos Connection is the uh, is a preferred is because of the cash that appears on the ground. Obviously, that makes up for it, but uh, you know, just as far as the mission payout, um, this one's higher at 21,000, as you'll see as I pull up here. We're just going to go right in, not wait around. No, Patricia. No, I'm playing ball. Ball. Four! You have been hysterical. It's the menopause again. That never happened. As I said, the oppressor with missiles is the best way if you don't happen to have that vehicle and you are going in with a team of six. Uh, one of the best places is in the hills to the uh, right of the base, uh, although now where you could just drive right into the base, I see no reason, even if you have some sort of different vehicle, of driving right into the base and then shooting the vehicle as it takes off. This mission has become a little bit easier since those hangar missions. I don't know how it affects six-person play, but uh, that's for another video, I suppose. This is solo contact missions. I hope this has answered your question regarding this mission. Let's get into free mode and do mission post-op. All right, here we are. Let's just take a minute and recap have to say this actually went off with a without a hitch um, noting that with the oppressor that if you stay to the right as you're coming up even if you're on boost you generally won't break through the barrier you, if you stay to the right it'll you'll just pass through they'll open the gate so I'm just saying you don't really have to slow down for that gate entrance really um, nothing is going to obstruct you besides that bar, and the oppressor can go through that bar if needed, and it won't, like, knock you off the bike. And uh, you probably want to keep your wings in until you make the turn. Uh, there's a turn where you're going to turn into the base to kind of get on a good trajectory to launch that boost. As you can see, if you watch the video, like, I kind of wait and make the turn and then boost, get in a good position so I could be to the left of the runway. I didn't see stars this time for some reason until the last moment when I launched the missiles. That hasn't always been the case. I wish you good luck in your own missions, however. This has been uh, Extradition, and I'm Saucer Cats. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.